but they love this whole, say it, this grandiose sense of self. Like, say I am charming. Am I? Am I? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it's a new video. Um, this time around, we're going to be talking. We're gonna be talking. It's a little bit of a real talk with a little bit of a story time, with a little bit of a, huh. It's a very, very interesting one, and I feel like a lot of people will be able, a lot of people will be able to relate to this topic. A lot of people will have people in mind as I talk with this topic, um, and uh, we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it as quickly as possible. We're so, going to be talking about narcissists today, narcissistic traits, narcissistic people, what to look out for when it comes to narcissists. If you think that somebody may be a narcissist and you don't quite know, these are the traits that you need to look out for and so it's a term that is loosely used um, a lot of the time like oh you're so narcissistic not really you know it encompasses a lot of traits and before I get into this video and before I get into the story time first um, I do want to say that I'm not a doctor I'm not a psychologist I'm not gonna sit here and diagnose people with narcissism or what have you it is a trait it is not a disorder there is narcissistic personality disorder but that's another that's another spectrum of things but normally it is classified as a trait so um, I'm gonna talk about my experience with um, some narcissists and I'm also then going to just lead you on to explaining what there is to look out for what you can look out for when it comes to a narcissist and that kind of stuff so let's get into it let me close my window because there's planes flying up and down and okay. so recently let me let me do the story time for First, right so recently I connected with somebody just like on a friendly basis and whatever and uh, it brought up all these emotions of somebody that I knew way back when uh, and how I did not know at the time of meeting this person that this person is a narcissist but I connected with someone else recently and I was just like wow I, I ran I ran from that because I just could not believe that um, this person behaves this way and I in instantly picked up that it's narcissistic traits so <clears throat> once upon a time in my life years and years ago um, I met up with someone and I thought this person was great I thought everything about this person checked out on paper okay this person was incredibly good looking like i am talking about jesus i mean <clears throat> who made you i mean who's your mother who's your father i need to thank them for this specimen you know what i'm saying i met this really very very good looking person and i i, I genuinely thought he's he's a great person he's good looking this is years ago now and um everything initially seemed incredibly perfect this person seemed to be very empathetic um uh, this person seemed to listen really well uh be aware of you know uh the things that i was going through listen advise very well um <laughs> Oh man, they would compliment me so much that I would I would even get a big head about myself like, okay, well, somebody thinks I'm cute mm, and they're talking about how cute I am all the time, you know what I'm saying? Until, you know, the conversations would go on and on and on and on and initially for me, I obviously wanted to pursue something with this person and he wanted to pursue something with me, but then... I instantly could tell that there were certain things that just didn't seem okay. They just didn't seem awry. Um, this person wanted to move very quickly to becoming, you know, official. To becoming, yes, we're together. Yes, we're seeing each other. Yes, blah, blah, blah. They wanted to move very, very quickly. And for me... I just kind of kept on thinking that, whoa, like, hold up, slow up, man. We're trying to get it to know each other, you know. It's really nice. Can we just enjoy this moment right here, right now? Um, yeah, that's when things started changing quite a bit. Every time I would talk to this person, it'd be great. Um, this person was very big on social media. Girls were like... 
it was a girl 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 kind of social media page people complimenting him you look so good blah 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 which already for me was like a red flag i don't want to be with somebody who is that highly in demand on social media but man people would praise him and this and that and the other and you know he would go along with it and blah 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 and i i would make my dissatisfaction with this or concerns with this known and i would say like listen for me i don't know how i feel about this and blah blah, blah. I, I i don't quite like the fact that every time i would have to go into your social media pages this is what i would come across and like nah it's not a big deal blah 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 don't even worry about it like it's nothing when i'm in a relationship of course this kind of stuff stops and blah 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 and i thought okay well all right i mean if that's the case then that's fine yeah, until it got into, you know, when I would have conversations with him about something that I may have been going through with a friend or a colleague or whatever, and I'd be feeling bad, like I'd be feeling like, am I wrong to feel this and this and type of way? And you know, this person would respond in a sense like, no, but like, you know what, it's it's about you, you have to surround yourself with people that are more like you, and blah, 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 not very, a very cold and aggressive approach, a uh, cold and aggressive response to things, and I'd be like, yeah, but again, then again, this is my friend, you know, I need to, I need to approach this a certain way, now listen, this, this is how, how the narcissist was playing on me, right, playing on my emotions, like, he, he preyed on the fact that I was a very empathetic person, which I am, about my friends, family, whatever, I'm just empathetic about situations, um, so he would, he would be like, nah, it's not a big, you know, like, act very nonchalant about something that really meant something to me, um, until one day I had a conversation with him, it was so long ago I can't even recall but I had a conversation with him and I was crying on the phone it, it had to do with me and him and I didn't like how he had responded to something and I was crying over the phone and listen listen when I talk about I got nothing in response I didn't get oh don't cry oh I'm so I got nothing in fact he tried to justify how he was responding to me and like trying to make it seem like I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy, you know, going crazy. And then there would be those instances here and there where I would say to him, like in an argument, like, no, but yesterday or the other day when I said this to you, uh, blah, 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 you responded to me like this. And he would be like, no, I didn't. What do you mean? I did not say that. I would never say something like that. Or, um, no, you just don't recall. You said this. And this would question my whole entire reality. I would be like, I never say things like that. I would never say something like that. That's not something nice to say or blah, 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 you know? And a very cold, nonchalant like take it if you wanna take it, don't take it if you don't wanna take it, I don't care. Like instantly things shifted overnight. And there would be things here and there that I would pick up that I would say to a good friend of mine, like I'm not comfortable with this, I don't know. I, I, this, this, people don't speak to people this way. This is not okay and whatever. But every time I would compliment him and whatever, oh, he meant, he would eat that up. Like, yes, yes, concern you. You know, with, with this person, I would, I would see all those traits of just, you know, you know, wanting to instantly want to be in a relationship, let's be together, let's do this, let's do this. No, I'm not ready. You know, I was going through something at that time and I really wasn't ready. And it would be like, oh, so you don't want to be with me. So the, the, so the whole issue, just tell me if I'm wasting my time. And I'm just like, it's only been a couple of weeks. What? And I'm just, I'm just like, hmm, okay. So... At this point, I was just like, as much as this person is so great on so many levels, oh my God, it would have been such a beautiful thing for us to have because I felt like we bounced off each other so well. Like in moments where we talked about uh, ideas and things, we would bounce off each other so well and he was honked. <laughs> and he just seemed like the greatest gentleman and all of that. And... I really felt it was a loss when I had to cut the cord. I just felt like, I can't do this. 
I said that if this is how you feel about me or if this is how because it had gotten to a place where I was just questioning my whole entire reality I just ended up feeling like I'm not enough I'm feeling like I'm trying 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 everything to make this person see that listen I'm here I'm here with you I am not going anywhere but please just ease on up you know be a little bit more warmer towards me what happened blah blah and I felt like I need to cut the cord and that's exactly what I did so I did cut the cord and I remember just saying please let's just not talk about it anymore and whatever and I casually just walked away yeah you know you feel like you lose something even before it begins and you just you just you just take it so uh, but a lot of the time I felt emotionally just wrought and drained and just man I just couldn't a lot of the time I found myself thinking about it so much but this person was so attentive and would call all the time and text all the time and it's all the things that you want you know what I mean ah, until it's just like no this is actually unhealthy this is not okay and I realized that and I wanted to share this I didn't I don't want to get into, I don't like talking about my history with other people and whatever and getting into too much detail. That's why I don't get into the intricacies of the conversations we had because I still feel the need to respect that person as well. So I don't get into it. However, I did pick up some narcissistic traits and that's one of the reasons why I walked away. This is what we're going to talk about now. The narcissistic traits, what you can pick up what you can see, what is prevalent or present in them that could indicate that they're a bit of a narcissist. We're gonna get into it. So, right, so what to look out for in terms of narcissists. First thing, it's, which is something that I mentioned, they lack empathy, okay? So initially it might be great because they listen and whatever, whatever, but they get to a point where they lack empathy. It's almost like there isn't anything a in them that allows them to sympathize with you or to feel that emotion that you're going through. In fact, they kind of um, sort of want to distance themselves from it or in fact, make it like it's nothing. Like, like why, 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 why you, why are you feeling this way about your friend? Like, it's fine. Maybe you can just realize that your friend isn't the type of person that you should be hanging around with. But I've known this person for 10 years. But one of the other things to notice about narcissists is that they are charming. Listen, they are charming like crazy. You cannot get away from their charm. They dress well. They take a lot of pride in how they look. Okay, they take a lot of pride in how they look. They, they, they dress really well. They smell great. They're smart. They can hold a conversation very nicely. This is normally in the initial stages of getting to know a narcissist, whether it's a woman or a man. I mean, there's something about them that pulls you to them. So they're charming how they speak to you, very, very smooth in how they project themselves and um, very, very smart in how they articulate themselves as well. Um, very great at giving advice and all those things. That's how they hook you in. Another trait is that they relish in compliments. So they love being complimented. That's why in a lot of cases with narcissists, they will be crazy on social media, okay? They will be on social media all the time, all day, every day. And I'm talking about all the platforms of social media, anywhere where they can put up a picture of themselves and say, admire me, look at me, I'm looking fresh. Listen, it doesn't mean that everybody who's on social media who likes to put up pictures and whatever is a narcissist. No, don't get it twisted. There's many traits to a narcissist. So that is one of them, but it doesn't mean that it's a trait that you and I don't share. I like to put up pictures on social media, you know, so, but they love this whole, say it, this grandiose sense of self. Like, say I am charming. Am I? Am I? <laughs> they make everything about them. Okay, they make everything about them. So you could be in a relationship with someone and you could come back from work and you are like, oh my God, baby, listen, my boss is thinking of giving me a promotion and we had a blah, blah, blah. 
the, the next immediate response, they want to, they want to, they want to one-up you, right? So the next immediate response is like, actually, I'm actually working on a project that gets that got signed off today. It's a 10 million rand deal and this and this and this. They want to lift themselves up so that whatever you are going through, that moment that you are so excited to talk about gets nullified. So it gets nullified and it's just like, you ain't that important. I'm doing better. <laughs> You're not that important. Get over yourself. I'm doing better. And of course, how does that leave you feeling? You end up feeling like, oh, well. Okay. They also have a sense of entitlement. They feel like they deserve your time. They feel like you have to spend time with them. You have to speak to them all the time. If you don't answer the phone or if you don't talk to them, and that's why they'll call you 15,000 times a day. They, they will want your attention. They demand it. They need it. It feeds them. It feeds their sense of self. It feeds their sense of grandiose about, you know, um, how I'm important and you need to spend time with me. Their sense of entitlement. If a colleague or a friend gets a new car, uh, a colleague or a friend of a narcissist gets a new car, whatever, whatever, ah, they're going to wreck that car. They don't even deserve that car. I deserve something better, blah, blah. I'm going to get something better. This is that kind of mentality. It's shocking. I know. <laughs> but there are people who think like this. And the thing is, they don't see anything wrong in what they're doing. And a lot of the time, narcissists don't even realize that they're narcissists. So, so this one is one of my biggest traits about narcissists that I hate. They gaslight a lot. Narcissists will manipulate your sense of reality. They are that smart that they will manipulate how you think. If you have a conversation with a narcissist, okay, and every time you talk to them, especially if you have an argument or whatever, and they end up saying to you, I didn't say that. No, but two days you said something to me and that really hurt me. First and foremost, they're never going to say they're sorry. They're never going to say they're sorry. In fact, they're going to try and explain why they said what they said to you, right? So you have no right to say that I hurt you. What? What are you talking about? That's the response, right? So they gaslight you, manipulate your sense of reality, and then they say to you, yeah, but you, yesterday or earlier on this evening or whatever, you said A, B, C, Z to me. You said blah, blah, blah. And you're like, I didn't say that. I really didn't say that. I would never in my right mind have the guts to even say something. Yeah, but you did. But you did. You said that. I tell not I didn't. And there's this doctor that I watch on YouTube. Her name is um, Dr. Ramani Diversala. I forget her surname and I'm, I'm apologetic very much so if I uh, mispronounce it, but I will link her channel down below. She is brilliant. She is a psychologist and she teaches about her whole sphere of teaching and uh, study is narcissists. And she speaks about narcissists all the time in each and every one of her videos, how to spot them, blah, 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 all that jazz, all that jazz. And um, there's one thing that she says that if you are in a relationship or a friendship with a narcissist where you're constantly checking for your reality, you're constantly doubting your own reality, if you get into a conversation with, a, with someone and you feel like this person, I did say this and I didn't say this and whatever, and you feel like you may need to record this person on your phone, just record all the conversations you have, you're dealing with a narcissist, baby girl or baby man, or baby boy, or baby woman. You're dealing with a narcissist. That is, you shouldn't have to want to record the conversations or the arguments or the disagreements that you have with someone just to prove that I did not say that to you. You're dealing with a narcissist. They are. So okay. I hope I listed mostly the qualities that I really would like you guys to think about, especially when you're dealing with narcissists. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's something that is very, very prevalent, especially in our society, especially in society where there's social media, <coughs> social media influences, blah, 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 social media, celebrities and all of that. If somebody thinks that their opinion is the right one, especially if they don't know or they haven't gone through that person's experiences and whatever, it's a narcissistic trait. It's a narcissistic tendency. You can't think that you are right all the time. You're not going to apologize. You're never blah, blah, blah. 
nah. I don't know. If you've got any more pointers on narcissists with narcissistic tendencies and qualities, please list it down below. Let's talk about it. It's a real talk video with a little bit of a story time. Um, and yeah, I really would like to know your opinion on this one. Okay, look out for those narcissists because at the end of the day, they make you question yourself. They make you feel like you're never good enough. They make you question your sense of reality. They make you feel bad about yourself, especially when you're around them. You feel drained. Your conversations are just so draining, especially when it's not good conversations, when you're not laughing and having a good time, when you're arguing or having a disagreement, uh, they will really, really, really tug at your core. And it's not, uh, yeah. That's not a healthy relationship to have with anyone, whether it's a friend or a lover or a husband, wife, child, it's not, it's not a good relationship to have with anyone. That's my take on narcissists. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe, join the channel, join the community, join the JK fam. Um, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.